What's going on YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video on this channel and I'm in a bit of a bad mood because I've had two parcels turn up, they've turned up quite speedy, I'm quite, you know, happy with it. They haven't put any packaging with it, or from what I can tell there is no packaging to it. Um, they're two Power Ranger figures, to my knowledge, I could be wrong, it might be something else, but this is one parcel and that is the other parcel and I think that is a uh, Power Ranger uh, flip head from the early 90s and if it is I'm really annoyed this might have a bit of packaging on it inside it might be boxed I'm not sure and if it isn't I'm really annoyed on both parcels uh, so today's video is going to be a unboxing unpackaging video it will have me opening both these videos me ranting about these two items uh, and then just in general me being really annoyed I think um, again I, I'm just so disappointed uh, with how people send parcels out so the first one I'm going to go with is going to be this one purely for the fact that this one may be packaged and it might prevent my yeah it is it is boxed so I mean I'm not going to be as annoyed with this one and what I'm going to do is as I'm recording As I'm recording, I will be taking some photos just in case there's any damage which isn't shown in the um, in the listing. So I, I do tend to check the listing again, just to double check that nothing's been damaged. Um, So yeah, <clears throat> there goes from me being really angry at the beginning of this video, in my head I was going to go mental and absolutely pure anger. One, it's box, which is nice. Two, there's void filler, plenty of it. And three, it's something I wasn't expecting. Uh, this has come from America, um, I managed to pick this up for, I think it was about 15 quid, so I uh, I think I got that for a fairly decent price, um, but there is a Lord Z, it come from the legacy era of Power Rangers, so 2016, 2015 era, um, you know, it's a five, four and a half inch figure, again, I, I've got the White Ranger, I think it's White Ranger, it could be green, no, it's white, I've got the White Ranger, in the same suit as this, so the idea was to put Lord Zed and the White Ranger next to each other and then put the Green Ranger on the other side because um, I think them three would be cool. I'm not too bothered about Legacy and Lightning Range, you'll find my collection uh, is uh, purely probably like 90% going to be the original Mighty Morphin from 93 to 95 ish with a few, a few CO Turbo add-ons um because i was still collecting it as a kid i never really binned anything but um but yeah i'm quite impressed with that this has come all the way from america um i hope i did buy two of these actually uh let's double check quickly so i forgot all about this because i ordered this beginning of the month i yeah so i won this on ebay for um yeah about 15 quid so yeah really impressed with that um it has taken a little bit of time but it has come from america so i'm not going to complain too much there's the legacy i don't think yeah um, is it legacy uh it's from that generation um but yeah it's really I, i'm quite happy with that my my i literally sat down about 10 minutes ago sitting there going how am i going to react on on the camera how am i going to behave how am i going to and I, I built myself up to be quite angry and I started the video going, let's start calm, build up the anger once you open things, which is what's going to happen here. Because you can tell there is nothing to this. It, it, I can feel the cardboard. There is, There might be a, a small layer of bubble wrap, but there's no packaging. So...
that is what they class as making something secure and safe and again I'm going to take pictures of it how it is <clears throat> um, and I've been speaking to a couple of people on the uh, Power Ranger Discord that I mentioned in the last video and I kind of said to them I'm a bit annoyed with how these parcels have sent I'm going to uh, backtrack you know I will backtrack on the Lord said one because I actually thought it was going to be a bigger item and I thought the box size kind of I thought this may have been a um, karate action uh, figure so I'm not too upset about that good amount of void filler good amount of bubble wrap on it it was boxed it was packaged again after that there is nothing wrong with that packaging I thought it was going to be one box with nothing around it similar to what this is this is a plain data bag jiffy bag whatever you want to call it you can get these for like DVDs which have already bubble wrap in it this is just a plain one with one tiny layer of bubble wrap one tiny tiny layer so yeah this item is exactly what I thought it was I'm really outraged about this um, so this, this parcel uh, I won this on eBay my partner won it for me on eBay um, let's double check the price again so she actually paid £44.20 for this and that's how they've sent it £44 and this is their idea of secure packaging I, I, I'm baffled ok it's got a bit of bubble wrap but it's also got what 5 inches of 4 inches of uh, cardboard which is easily bent easily bent right and they've decided to send it out with one sheet of bubble wrap and a data bag with no no box if I was sending this out and again it's crushed I don't know if the camera will pick that up it is crushed on this side and it didn't show that in the picture I will have to go through the pictures again and I don't know how good the camera is but if you look here there is the thickest layer of dust like honestly I've just paid £44 and my partner's just paid £44 for it. It's turned up quite quick. Well done. You know, shipping, five stars. You, you uh, Not shipping, timing, five stars. You've sent that out really rapid. But how hard is it to put that in a box? There you go. It's in a box. Okay, that box doesn't fit. But you can Frankenstein a box if you don't have one. A cereal box. And the argument is... How you sent that out if you four pound twenty postage that is a small parcel recorded four pound twenty recorded second class right four pounds right, that's literally like a parcel that could be like this big it's like a shoe box size so you could literally put this in a shoe box full with bloody rice krispies and it would be more secure than how you sent it out and it wouldn't cost you any more that would have actually been quite cool to get a box of rice krispies and pull that out from it don't do talking cereal anymore today um but no i'm i'm really actually i don't know what to do because again i'm really happy this has turned up i'm really happy it's turned up i love the fact it's it's complete i don't really have much in the way of movie stuff at the moment my partner's been buying me a few bits and she won't tell me what what I've, what uh she's bought me so i'll find out in the near future hopefully but i know about this it's turned up i said i really hope that's not a figure on a bit of cardboard which it is and how they've sent it out is just horrendous like i said it's cost 40 pounds plus 42 quid uh, and four pound 20 postage so 44 pounds 20 and they've sent it out like that. I'm just, oh yeah, I, I can't believe that. I mean, it was it was dispatched on. When did it say it was dispatched? Dispatched on Thursday the eighteenth. It's taken two days to turn up on second class recorded. That is really really quick. Honestly, five stars for speed. You know, I bought it on the sixteenth. They took two days to ship it, fine, whatever. But honestly, that's turned up very quick. What I'm not happy with is how you've packaged it. And again, anyone that 
I, I think it's common sense. Even, even a, a soft, um, tuddle, cuddly toy, I would put a small load of bubble wrap or a bit of void filler or stuff like this, you know, just whack that around it. A little bit of, you know, that, that gives it a little bit of protection. Anything that's cardboard, anything of age, I will always box. Anything I ever sell will be boxed and cardboard. To send that out in a data bag is just outrageous. And again, I will be taking pictures. I'll take a picture while I'm on the camera. Um, and I'm gonna show that on the on the Discord chat. There you go. There's a camera picture of the figure, whatever. Um, but I'm just I'm just I'm disappointed. And it's not the first time in the in the recent um like last month, two months, um, I picked up a karate action. I think it was a, uh, I think it was a Black Ranger karate action, um, boxed with a original Red Ranger, the one that came in a triangle box, and the box was like squashed. He literally just put the two together, chucked it in a bag, and threw it out with postman, um, and things like that really annoy me. I mean. <sighs> This is 95 yeah 90, 95 so this is what we're we looking at now 26 years old right it's 26 years old if this was a car it would be classed as a classic you know it's 26 years old and you've sent it out like that i'm so disappointed with how that's been sent out i'm so so disappointed and i honestly i don't even know how to end this because i I'm, i want to swear and shout and scream I want to send aggressive messages on eBay to this seller. The issue is if you do that on eBay, eBay will go completely against you. It will give you the negatives and it will keep him in the good for his error. But that's my fault for maybe not messaging and going, make sure bubble wrap it. But you would have thought the seller would have the common sense, the common sense to send it out in any sort of bubble wrap, any sort, I mean, one sheet is not plenty. That is not enough. That is so not enough. Box it. I would have put, if I didn't have a box, I would have put a sheet of cardboard there. I would have put bubble wrap here. I would put another sheet of cardboard there and taped it, making sure that the edges weren't attached to the tape. If I didn't have a box, cutting up a cereal box, that would fit perfect. Or chucking it in the cereal box, who doesn't have cereal in the house? I. It just baffles me. It really, really baffles me. And I will be sending a message to the guy on eBay. But I will have to word it carefully because I do not want eBay to go with him rather than me. Because at the end of the day, the item has arrived. Just not how I expected it. I'm so disappointed. So, so disappointed. I'm aiming to get my games collection, my toy collection, my ranger collection in my spare room by the summertime. And by summer, I'm hoping to have a, a collection update video showing off my display. Will that happen in time? Maybe not. I don't really have much spare time to do so, but I'm aiming for it to be this summer. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Tell me your horror stories of eBay or Amazon or buying online. I guess that's the issue from buying online and buying from a boot sale or in a shop. You know what you're getting. I knew what I was getting. It just didn't arrive how I expected it to. Um, and yeah, just sub to me if you're new. I'm going to try and bring out more Power Ranger content as often as I can. I'm going to try and make this more of a Power Ranger channel than, than what I've had in the past. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Enjoy the weekend.